Hi, everybody, for the Saints Sports Network. I'm Fabian Fuentes, a little over 24 hours away from game day itself. Top ranked Limestone getting set to take on third ranked LeMoyne in the 2015 NCAA Division II Men's Lacrosse National Championship. You see the Saints on the field here at the link for the first time. It's the game before the day walkthrough. Limestone will have a 60 minute practice on Saturday, take in one of the semifinal games for Division I, then have a film session later on Saturday, and of course, have one last team dinner. Saturday evening before the big day on Sunday, 1 o'clock. Multiple ways to keep up with the national championship game on Sunday. All that information here at GoLimestoneSaints.com. Limestone, of course, 19-1 and one on the season, the number one ranked team in Division II, while LeMoyne is the third ranked team sitting at 16-2. and two. First postseason matchup between the two since 2012 when the Saints won a showdown in Syracuse, New York. First matchup in the national championship game between these two since 2004. And you know what? It took place on this very surface in Philadelphia. Of course, Limestone number one in the nation in several offensive categories as far as goals per game are concerned, as far as total points. Limestone averaging over 17 goals a game, averaging just under 27 points, while LeMoyne is number one in the nation in scoring defense. And of course, Limestone packs a lot of offensive firepower. Kyle Radigan leads the team with 79 points. He's 16th in the country, averaging four points per game. The number two scorer for the Saints is Reed Reinhold. The junior is averaging 72 points a game, 28th in the country as far as that goes, at just under four points per game. Mike Messenger, the number one goal scorer for Limestone on the year, 51 in all. He's 21st in the country. So a lot of storylines heading into this matchup coming up on Sunday. Now as part of our coverage here Saturday, we're going to have an interview with Limestone offensive standout Jordan Saunderson, the junior out of Oshawa, Ontario. That and much more when the Saints network coverage of Limestone competing in the NCAA Division II Lacrosse National Championship continues. Saints Sports Network coverage from Philadelphia continues. The top-ranked Limestone men's lacrosse team going for back-to-back -back national championships on Sunday at 1 o'clock, taking on third-ranked LeMoyne out of Syracuse. First matchup in a national championship game between these two since 2004. That matchup was also here at the link. We're joined by Jordan Saunderson, one of the uh, many offensive standouts that Limestone has this year. And Jordan, tell us about the week that has been in leading up to this national championship. I mean, it's, it's just been unbelievable. I mean, having a chance to practice here today in a facility like this, and then tomorrow when the crowd gets here, how that's going to feel. I mean, I th we're just all very excited right now to uh, get the game going. And, I mean, obviously we're going for another championship, so it's going to be unbelievable playing in here tomorrow. Now, of course, you're with your first year at the Limestone program. You got to see what happened last year with the national championship run. What has this season been like trying to defend that title? I mean, obviously wasn't on the team last year, and it was hard watching the boys play and win a championship. But I was excited for them. And then this year, it's been hard, you know, target on our back every game and uh, having to defend that national title but we're here now and then tomorrow we'll have a chance to defend that title and I think we're going to come out with the win and I think we're all just excited to get the game going. Now when your teammates found out that you were going to be interviewed by Trey and I today they said Fabian you've, you've got to ask Jordan about being nicknamed White Lightning. So tell us about that. Uh, it's just a joke that the boys have because obviously I'm not the fastest guy on the team, but uh, when we have home games and we put on white, I guess I just got that little extra pep in my step. So it's just a little joke in the dressing room. He may not have the speed that some of the other players have, but he's got something else. He's got size. Jordan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. As always, 1 o'clock is a face-off time on Saturday, Sunday. Multiple ways to keep up with a national championship game. All that and more information is available online at GoLimestoneSaints.com. For the Saints Sports Network from Philadelphia, I'm Fabian Fuentes.